I go to the next one? Let's go to the next one, shall we? Here, it's exactly at the same spot. Because we see this scaffolding thing here, we see the ramp, we see the pallets we have seen before. And we can also see the rest when it pans around right here. Yep, it's, it's the same. Also this, this, those same uh, stalls, kind of, I don't know. Weird thingy, same warp wires, or light wires. Same wall. And uh, up top we also have a few things here. Some, 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 uh, another divider wall and some crap up there. Which could be the cylinders we see here. And now I don't really make much sense probably, but uh, let me show you. You have this here. This is also uh, further in, in sector 1. It has a big ramp, big ass ramp, and those two cylinders or silo cylinders up here. But it doesn't have a wall on this, on this other side, so I don't think it is from here. I don't think so. Could be, but uh, I don't know. Because then we would see the wall on the other side. Here we have a wall which is either the uh, border wall from the... Uh, let me show you because this is going to be difficult to say here. Hang on, where is, where is it? 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 Here. Right. Let's zoom this in a little. No, not 100. Let's say 200%. Yes, right. Now, now you, maybe now you see what where I'm coming from. Here you see this is from the original render, by the way, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> um, this is the wall with all pipes, and of course on this side as well. Here we have a similar wall with similar pipes, so either it's uh, a bigger version of this area here where we have the, uh, the door behind us, like the forklift would then be on this side and we would look from the door outside, and this door would then be the, uh, the ramp here, probably. Let's see, come on. And turn around, turn around. Yes, here, this one. My may might be, might be. It's also completely speculation. Oh, hi, John Ron. Thank you for joining. <laughs> you guys are, are talking about Ruby Weapon while I analyze my ASF over here. <laughs> you guys are something else. Anyway, I also mentioned the cylinders, which I also theorized in, er in an earlier analysis that there are. Those here, here, those cylinders. Like, I mean, those here. Those cylinders up there. Which is also, which also puts the door, the exit door to the back, to the side, like uh, to, the, to the bottom here. As we're looking towards those. So, that's why I theorize in this shot. No, not, not, not this shot. Ah, no. No. Here. This shot here from the E3 stage presentation. We're looking to the west. Like here. No, not the west, the east. Pardon. To the east. Here. We're fighting in this area here and have our backs to the exit door. Now, uh, here we also have the um, the wall on this side, on the left, which could be this wall, which might also represent. Well, it could also be the other way around. Like it also it all depends where we're looking at this ramp could either lead to the east, like through this gate, or we could also 
be in this area exactly like here. See this wall on the left, like this one here. And this ramp goes up to here and leads to the right, which also leads out of or through this gate and back into this area here, where we see those two cylinders with the, the big ramp, which will then, hang on, let me show you this a little bit closer here. The ramp which will go upstairs, probably around this clock tower, into this area, which uh, we've already seen on a concept art that we're probably on a higher level. Then go here, uh, go down here by elevator, into where is it? Into this part? No, not this part. This part here. You see the elevator here, like from the upper left. We get then go down and back out, and then we can also where is it? back up here and to the exit. That would be the, the way back. That's how I theorize it. Here, downstairs, going in here, up the elevator, we see here, then, uh, see it again, here, go upstairs here, run all the way up there, ah, come on, work with me. Through the intruder sign, have probably some more battles, Go down the ramp, have the battle with those uh, next to those th th those cylinders. Go through the gate, then come down this ramp, battle those guys here, pass the forklift, and then go to the T junction. Probably this is what I I expect. Oh, nice! Uh, 50, 52 on YouTube and 16 viewers on Twitch. That's great. <laughs> you guys talking about Final Fantasy while I while I analyze Final Fantasy. Good. All right. So I think we have we have the location covered. I also covered this in a tweet of mine earlier. Maybe it was around one or two weeks ago, where I said those two clips could potentially be around here. Oh, I'm so stupid. Not stupid, I'm just forgetful. I can also do this. Ha! Here. I completely forgot about this feature. So, I can also do this. Yes. And I can also do this here. Nice. Correct, Aeon, that's exactly what I am going to do. Explore every nook and cranny, look at everything, compare everything, theorize everything, and analyze everything, and just take like two hours just in this area here alone. <laughs> Alright, so. Since we've covered this here. I guess we are ready to move on to the graveyard. Or do you guys have any more questions regarding this part here? Also, did I miss anything? Oh, also... Have some drink. Okay guys, from my side, I think this is about it here. Although, we can also... Uh, oh, that's too, fa too fast. That's too fast. No, no, we have one more thing. One more thing. Some more math. <clears throat> oh, I need to... Come on. 
it still? No, it's deactivated. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's see. Which... Which numbers do we have here? Alright, let's... Let's get back the... Thingamabob from before. Um, no, this is not good. I need to do it differently here this time. Here we go. <clears throat> now, it's of course uh, not correct right now, but See, nine, seven. Nine, seven, forty six. Yeah, that's about right. Forty six. And the fourth one, also forty, that's correct. And this time he uses the finishing attack, or finishing um, hit for a 5 hit combo. Damaging both, meaning, well, let's, let's keep, uh, how, yes, let me do it, do it this way. Math time! All right, we have 16, this is uh, 22, 62, 102, 182, 191. Some, somebody please correct me. All right. But it's not for hit combo, let's say security officer one. Uh, let's hang on. We need to move this thing a little. Here. Move this this blah, blah, blah. this thing down there. And copy this one. Up and Ah, now it's correct. And no, 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 no. It moved. Here. Now it works. Second one takes 86. Plus, what was it again? 400 something, I guess. Oh, too fast. 406. All right. Four hundred and six. That is four hundred and ninety-two. Oof! My math is correct. Thank God, or thank Gaia. <laughs> thank Minerva. Hmm. All right. Then uh, we don't really need that anymore because we already included the braver here. And then let's check. Quickly check uh, it. Where is it? Here. Let's quickly check total damage because. Now wait. Wait, wait. I was what was thinking about something else. This total damage doesn't make sense because there are two different enemies. So, do you see this other enemy here? As uh, security guard A, or security officer A has just a smidge of HP left. So, let's go back at the, to the beginning to see if... Come on. Oh, he had full HP. Ah! Alright, so they are... quite... Ah, uh, how do you say it? Nimble, not nimble, uh, la la la. Fragile, let's say fragile. All right, so we have nine here, this little thing nine, and we have seven, also little thing. We have, come on, 
46, quite a chunk. 40, quite another chunk. And then 89, which almost gets him killed. So they have 200 HP. Calling now. Yes, they are called MP in the original. Alright, so... Yes, I think we can uh, safely say that security officers have around 200 HP. Which doesn't kill this one, but kills the other one, uh, which received 288. And here, the second one is clearly dead. Like, twice dead. Two and a half times dead. <laughs> also, total damage doesn't... This isn't correct here. This should be... Oh no, let's do something different. Because... I biffed it. Let's see. I wanted to... No wait, something is off. Where... Huh? Ah, oh, no. Is it, is it this one? Which I want? Hang on. No, it's not this one. Ah, right, it was this one here. Hang on, I'm almost ready, almost ready. Here, activate. This is what I wanted. And... Put it down there. Ah, now we're talking. No, not again. Don't move things. Uh, nine, six, two. And we also have the exact same numbers, just not in the exact same order. Or was it here? We have a 12, we have a 10, and an 11. And an 11. 10 and an 11. Which does the following. I don't feel like calculating that in my head, so... 962. Ah, okay, so it's 64. Plus... Oh, it's 99. Nice. 64. It's, no, it's 97. 97, right. So in this version here, he took 97 damage total. And before? Um, where is it here? Activate. 208. So it's, those two are definitely different recording sessions. Definitely different recording sessions. What? Minerva is a, is a ban? Why can I talk about the band? <laughs> this shouldn't be a thing. I'm pretty sure you can ma mention the name of a band. If you can't men mention the name of a band anymore, that would be crazy because in everyday speech you come across some phrase or term or whatever that's used in a band's name. That would be completely crazy. <laughs> really completely crazy. So, yeah. I'll probably cut out so much of this. So, yeah. Because I really want to condense it to just the, the core analysis for it for the YouTube upload. So this Minerva thing will probably get cut out anyway. But thanks for mentioning Coit. Alright, so we also we already have Oh! Also something I want to mention again. I already mentioned this in previous analysis. Episode 9, I think. You see here this uh, green flash across the heat bar or the sacker bar. Again and again. This most likely signifies that 
it's in some sort of uh, uh, how should I call it? N not staggered state, but a uh, a vulnerable state, so to speak, where the heat gauge or staggered stage gets um, bonus. Because here, hold on. Here, the heat gauge is normal. No, it's not normal now. It's it was normal before. Ah, oh, no, no, no. When? All right. So now I get it. Here it's normal. It's just normal size, exactly the same as the HP bar. And as soon as Cloud hits the guy, it expands, and also the the color. Now. Now I remember, I've already talked about this before, but not in a video, I think. But on, uh, I think on Discord or in YouTube comments. The heat, it's not really... Do you see? The heat is not here anymore. The heat comes only when the... Uh, the target gets smashed down or gets hit stunned, so to speak. Gets vulnerable. That's what heat means. In, in, we haven't seen the English equivalent yet, but it's probably... Maybe it says vulnerable? Maybe it says something else. Let's see. Okay. And... That's why... Here you see at the beginning it's... A lighter color, and here it's a more saturated color. And also bigger. And th th this green flash keeps on flashing through. And this is why, why the, uh, ah, I need to, f to put this away here, almost there. No, wait, hang on, what, why? What's, what's happening here? Come on, something is... Accidentally did something. Ah, I changed changed to um, rules. All right, here. Let's do this. I'm sorry you can't see it because it's on another screen. I'm just putting this thing away. Here. All right. So because you you see occasional this green flash. Flashing across. This is when we get a huge stagger boost. Because the the enemy is vulnerable, it's hit stunned, can't do anything. And then BAM! That's also why in the first one here, stag stagger or the normal ones, the normal uh, hit hits did so much stagger bonus things here and also the I can't talk anymore I'm sorry I'm getting tired I guess uh, the focused thrust increased the, the stagger gauge this fast or this high this is because of the hit stun heat effect whatever yeah this is breaking everything <laughs> Back to this, I think we are through with it. Wow. Also, what is this? Oh, yeah, right, the 33 damage. But I also included the damage before. Like, uh, hang on. Here, the 33 is included in here. What? How can I? This one. Yes, that's that's 33. I wanted to calculate everything. So, back to the future. I mean, back to the material here. Yeah, it's it's not 
That's why I say hit stun, because they are not really staggered, they're not in a special state that's just hit stun, they are uh, vulnerable, they can't actually do anything, and you get a bonus for that. In Final Fantasy XV they also had the state that, that, that was called vulnerable, when they went to the ground, and you could do extra damage. And here it's just extra stagger, which then results into extra damage when they finally stagger. Okay. Yes, that's true. With guard uh, scorpion, <laughs> guard scorpion, or scorpion sentinel can get uh, hit stunned as well, and. Probably when hitting it with a weak spot or hitting any enemy with its, uh, with its weak spot or weakness, they most likely go into this heat state or uh, hit stun state or whatever. And then are vulnerable to stagger damage or at least uh, stagger buildup. Yep, that's true. But it could also be that they do teach, teach us those mechanics in the tutorials that pop up, but they also they just haven't activated the tutorials yet, because they only want to show us what they want to show us, if you know what I mean. They don't want to show us things they want to reveal at a later time, so we don't get everything at once, just drips and tidbits. Yes, that's exactly the same. Um, he also want a new heat state when hit with fire, because fire is its weak, weak state or weak spot. Weakness. That's when he was wailing around and then jumped into the water to, to uh, extinguish the fire. Oh yeah, that's, that's of course true quite as well. There sure are so many hidden mechanics or small mechanics they just would want to, want to tell us anyway that we have to find, find out ourselves in the game or that the game will tell us when it's out. Because telling us everything about the game is not good marketing strategy, because we want to find out the, uh, the details. And I do have a theory about where to find Ifrit in the next game analysis, which I'm working on. And I'm finishing the main part tomorrow, then it goes up for patrons of the Nanaki tier, and two days later I should be finished and uploaded to YouTube. So it is Tuesday again. Because we see Ifrit being used before apps. Alright, change of music requested. Change of music requested. Let's do this one, this is fun. Um... Oh, now I want to uh, shop for materia and items. <laughs> anyway, I do think we are done here with this part of the analysis. Also, just before we go, I see a pipe back there. Pipe stuff. And it really does seem we're uh, able to go on both sides, behind this fence and behind there, probably. It's hard to see, it's really hard to see. It's really hard to see. Huh. Yep, this, this part is really hard to pin, pin down. Special because a few of the areas really look different than the original. Ah, uh, no, I don't think both at the same time. I think we get Ifrit quite early on, before the second bombing mission, and we get probably get Shiva um, either in Wall Market or uh, during the second bombing mission, and in Wall Market we get the third summon probably, because. When they show the summon, it's uh, not where we get it, probably. So it's not really an indicator. Dorks barking! <laughs> we are all dorks, so we're barking, I guess. Alright, are we done? <laughs>